What's up there and welcome to a brand new video on Form 4 Anime. In today's video, five facts about Sato Kazuma from the series Konosuba and, you know, answering the question, does Kazuma like or love Mega Man? And hey, if you're new here, why not join the Form 4 community by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out. So, with that being said, let's roll intro and get straight into the facts. <laughs> So, as we know, Kazuma is a human male. He is 16 years of age, though in the web novel he is 20. He, of course, has brown hair and green eyes. He is of average height, around 5 foot 4, and weighs 121 pounds. At present, we know Kazuma is around level 40, which is an amazing feat for an adventure class, though he is, of course, a long way behind the levels of his party members. This is more than likely due to the fact that he has actually never had the finishing blow on a boss monster, unlike such characters as said Megumin and her explosion-ness. Ness. Kazuma's voice actor is Jun Fukushima, who has not voiced many characters over his career, which is actually very surprising to me because one of the things I love the most about Kazuma is the voice the voice behind him. I think, you know, that Fukushima has done an absolutely fantastic job. Majority of these jokes that Kazuma says, it's all voice. I just absolutely love it. So I'm surprised that he hasn't had many, like, more major roles. He has done other smaller roles, uh, just to point a couple out, maybe Atrum Goliath stuff from Fate Stay Night, and I've probably pronounced that wrong, my bad. And in No Game No Life, he was the voice behind the original King, plus only a small handful of other small characters from other shows. Quite tragic, amazing voice actor. I love him. Let me know what you think about Kazuma's voice in the comment section below. So what do we know about Kazuma's life prior to him being sent to the other world? We know that Kazuma was a shut-in neat, in Aqua's words, where he would stay in and just level up. He was a classic online gamer. He just shut himself in and never went out. But why did he never go out? There is a story behind this. When he was in elementary school, his first love and childhood friend had promised to marry him. Though during one summer in his third year in middle school, he saw that same girl with an upperclassman riding on his bike. Unable to say anything, heartbroken Kazuma, he no longer wanted to attend school and immersed himself in online gaming. Kazuma's parents, in fact, had like paid for Kazuma to go to this fancy school, but he would never go. He'd leave, wait for his parents to go, and then he'd sneak back into the house where he would get back onto that online gaming. Of course, the one time that we saw Kazuma actually go outside, though we know it was to pick up a game that, or a deluxe version of a game that he was really after, he ended up trying to save this girl from a non-moving tractor and died. <laughs> Thus, meeting Aqua. <laughs> Fact number four, let's talk about some of Kazuma's skills. Overall, Kazuma has the world's greatest look. He has a very, very high look stat. So high, in fact, that Luna was surprised. We know this look skill can go hand in hand with his legendary rock, paper, scissors skills, though he has only ever lost to one person. That one person, of course, Eris, the goddess of a look. Believe it or not, Kazuma does have a decently high intelligence level. He can be quite cunning and sharp, be this in battle strategy or in just some of the terminology he uses to annoy the rest of his party members. Of course, the one skill that Kazuma is famous for, the one skill that we love Kazuma for, is the steel ability. Of course, the steel skill is one that improves depending on the user's look stat, which makes this absolutely perfect for Kazuma. Usually, the steel skill will allow you to steal the most valuable item that someone has on them, but in Kazuma's case, it's 9 times out of 10, some poor girl's pantsu. Kazuma also has the smithing skill. He uses this ability to quite a good effect. And we've seen him invent products from his time, such as dynamites, condoms of all things, lighters, and a katatsu. And he'll sell these products for profit using that bit of intelligence skill that he does possess. Then of course, we have the skill he learned from Wiz, which was Drain Touch, which is used to drain mana from others as well as to give. We know that it can only be used through direct contact and drains mana very, very quickly. Finally, Cosma has trained himself in basic magic. We know that he's able to use tinder, create earth, create water, wind breath, and freeze. Normally, these skills are very basic and they're quite weak, but this is once again where Kazuma utilizes his intelligence and maximizes the effectiveness of each skill. Though this is to 
kind of help him out in fights and we do know Kazuma is a, quite a dirty fighter. He'll combine Create Earth and Wind Breath in able to blow dirt into people's eyes. But then he can use these skills to practical use as well. He'll use Create Water to produce clean drinking water whenever he needs it. Then of course Tinder is great for starting fires. Then we see that he uses such skills as Freeze to keep darkness at bay. So the question we've been like looking for, you know, does Kazuma like Megamin? Will Kazuma end up with Megamin? At first, he stated that he was completely not interested. Of course, Megamin at the time was someone underage. Though later, we did see that he did show some kind of interest in her. This is more than likely after Megamin turning 14, which in Japan is considered a legal adult. But it's quite cute. There's some cute moments between these two. There was a time when Megamin wanted to actually learn other spells so she could be useful to Kazuma. Though he did stop her and like, went as far as buffing her explosion skill because he knew that she wouldn't be happy in the long run. Cosma has actually even been asked out by Mega Man on a date, though it was just him accompanying her to cast a routine explosion spell. But still pretty cute. As time progresses, Megamin grows to become quite more open and affectionate towards Kazuma. Of course, while trying to keep it a secret from the rest of the party. In volume 12, he did become more comfortable with his feelings for Megamin and entered a relationship. Though Kazuma overall feels loyal to Megamin, their lack of physical intimacy does cause somewhat of a tension for him. Until volume 14, where Megamin actually expressed a willingness to have some physical relations, offering to help Kazuma take care of his little friend, old Excalibur over there, as well as stating that she was fine with it as long as he takes responsibility. But thanks for watching this is my video, five facts about Kazuma from the series Konosuba. And th the question, does Kazuma like Mega Man? I believe that he does. I think there's something kind of going on there between the two of them. Darkness and Kazuma, not so much. Aqua and Kazuma, definitely not. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. And of course, if you'd like to see more anime fact videos like this, subscription box openings, figure reviews, and more, then hit the subscribe button. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button. Share this video with a friend, or just leave me a comment in the section below. Let me know what your favorite Kazuma moment was. But that is it from me. I will see you in the next video. Peace!